When it comes to our lovely 5D relationships, the truth is that empowered men and empowered women, well, we definitely love to be around each other because that's where we find the abundance of emotional and mental intelligence people. So they don't do gender stereotypes. They don't do any of that. And I love having been able to share that story with you yesterday. And so that's because they have their own divine feminine and they don't have to have Claire's, but they have their inner child in the lead. In fact, they're connected to our lovely human herd and they know what it's like to be around those uh, men that don't, uh, they're not men, men. Yeah. So they know how to do forgiveness because they understand that every person who doesn't get home to their sacred inner child and become a secure attachment person, you know, they're going to be basically distorting a lot of things. So we're going to leave that alone because for those of us here, we get to learn about the woo-woo spiritual lady here who's your self-help coach and voice and stories. So rest and rejuvenate is what you get to achieve if you do emotional stuff the grown-up way, like we get to talk about. If you want laundry, there's a Zen master. He tells you all about it. For us, we appreciate empowered men and women, and that's why we know that we all can own a lovely open-heartedness conversation that builds a future, and that's in fact a future that is, I love my cards with this. Let me grab a couple of them more because we have a community. We have a very beautiful community of these. This is a Oracle deck from, I forget, Energy, but one second because they're stuck. Bear with me. Welcome anybody who's new. If you're interested in doing personal development, we have one-to-one -one mentorship and masterclass coming up. And that's for the ones who want to do emotions. So you don't uh, do, oh no. Heartbroken is suffering, Maria. I have laundry in my body, Maria. No, that's not what your voice, your voice shares. Wow, I'm ready for some more inner growth mindset stuff, Maria. Okay, so empowered men, they are just as busy as empowered women, but they're just as emotionally available as empowered women and men. So again, I have had the honor of being able to meet, finally, presence of empowered men. And that's really nice as they shared what others don't, which is, yes, it's really hard to be around those who are not men, Maria, those who don't know romance. And uh, here's where, let me do it this way. So we each have our own divine masculines, divine feminines. And that's where I'm going to use the visual. And this card, some people, they like to give people negative connotations and positive we, we don't dehumanize. This is a, you're a person. You got a zero one year old. It's attached panicky. You got a three seven shame submissive. Are they down to sleep? Mine are. You got a 11, 12 flight and a fight 14, 15, 16. Oh, and you have a freeze response of all ages. That might come up in different ways like panic attacks. Also, for my spiritual awakening 5D mystic community, come on over if you want to do something with a 5D human being not the 4D who give you stories. If you want an Elsa cape, then you can go there. Okay, so that is what it looks like when we have empowered men and women. They get to build what is not only the left, the right, and they get to actually know the door to romance. Why? Because they know how to walk a walk and talk a talk and speak the truth. Why is that? Well, because their inner child is in the lead. And that means they know always how to work with their emotional and mental plane and add value to each other. And so they don't get stuck in indecision and say, oh, I'm all tied up. I don't have the way to spirit. So they don't get into the, uh, what's it called? Let me think. Evil can evil medieval. Okay. So people who don't have access to their pure consciousness is because when they get undecided and they feel tied up, there's this thing called shame cycle. And that's because they will have the not safe home, not welcoming home. And so in their community, they were not appreciated and they did not learn how to use their rest and rejuvenate. So how to be themselves. They didn't learn that emotions are okay and that they're reflection and that they can work with their self. And that's not with a constraint, not with a mindset that is lacking. I don't, I don't, I'm not worthy. That's a shame button. Okay, no, the strategy here is where you use your thinking cap as a divine feminine 
And that's where integration comes in. So with self-help and woo-woo spiritual lady, you get to move into your own embodiment of self-worth as a grown person. Your higher self is when you're able to not only speak from the social engagement system, but you also know introspection. And that's why caring connections, empowered men are people who are solid. They come in, they don't come in and out. Uh, they don't get anxious. And if they do, they talk to you about it. They say, hey, guess what? I'm balancing out my anxiety because I actually have a fear of commitment, for example. And at the same time, though, I see the big, vast world and I actually am ready to explore it with somebody that I know I have a beautiful connection with. And the strength card, this one is really important for the people who are learning to integrate. So when your crown chakra is opening up and you're getting to be a part of this lovely flight, it's because you've learned to alchemize what is within you and whatever is within you is a story that you want to share with others. So trauma story for some and for others instead, it's uh, I'm learning how to do emotions and be a grown inner child baby. <laughs> Uh, inner child adult excuse me but my big man baby child friend he, he comes to my mind every now and then he's not learning how to get out of his attitude no he, he keeps on doing things okay so the truth is 5d collective this lovely christ consciousness it's the ability to sit in silence not in a cold or rigid or detached way uh, we don't create stories no black and white thinking uh, no rumination okay we learn how to expand the thinking when the storm hits. In fact, this is the part of why you want to know that when a storm hits, you don't do it alone. When you have healthy self-worth men and women in days, that means that you will learn how to actually regulate your nervous system and how to get out of this attachment and the masks that people who don't own self-worth, they still have, okay? And that's why the temple... That is IHP. It's for those of you who want victory to get out of deceit, deceit, self, deceit. It's the Cusco land. There's a lot of Cuscos. They're women, men. They continue to follow stereotypes, all of them. And they are also continuing to allow re-traumatizing events to take place. There's a lot that we'll be doing and talking about. I'm going to organize themes. I think that's the best way for me to try and make sure I can touch upon those important topics as a woo-woo spiritual self-help guide for the ones who want their happy family and to walk away from any of that which is going to can keep you stuck in what is a survival mode. You don't need to use your fight flight in relationships. It's unnecessary. And it's also a closed heart. You want to open up your heart and opening up your heart is to true love and your wholeness which is really beautiful, by the way. So when you get to be given the opportunity to choose what door, you know, there's no wrong doors, but you're going to lead with the door that is your happiest. And our lovely Jesus comes up again, healer of all ages. So when you're open to unconditional love, to forgiveness, to taking action with your yin yang, your feminine, your masculine, divine, divine, because I say the masculine is the left mode and the feminine is the right mode. This is how I'm sharing with you the thinking cap of their mind right here. Okay, so when people have envy, jealousy, spite, revenge, they still have shame. They are still a one-year-old that didn't learn how to detach from that story. And in fact, they don't know how to be their own safe haven, secure base. So they don't blossom in abundance when they get to interact with people in relationships. They don't get to be their own emotional goddess. They get overwhelmed. And that's where self-help supports people who are wanting to do emotions like a goddess, but not a goddess. We don't want to use that word, <laughs> but definitely like your own magician. So the beauty of empowered women, men, and days. So for one, for a 5D mystic, what's beautiful is knowing that we get to experience twice the fun. <laughs> that's because with Claire's, and our twin flames and our soulmates and our oversoul and, and tie all, all our dreams, astral travel, every single year that I've gotten to be with my clears, it gets more and more amazing. And then with those empowered men relationships, it is even more fascinating thanks to the intellect. Because my intellect and my emotional 
brain are both being able to create what is an in-depth harmonious experience and that leads your higher self to not be bored and actually to use that time in a way that will create and manifest abundance this is like the ten of coins and so with that that's why our relationships they're all very important the people who end up uh, doing what is called I will hear the truth that you're telling me, but I will not be freed by it because I will not want to hear it and I will actually twist it. As I shared with you yesterday, so when you have a sense of self, this is number one. And if you don't, we can work on that with self-help one-to-one mentorship. But the woo-woo spiritual part is important for you to keep in mind since I am respectful of academics of all professionals and all types but i'm also a mystic and so i want to ensure that you understand that there's appreciation for all information and then for our mystic community and our sciences community and appreciation for the life coaches and the good therapists and the good self-help community and the good all that is good is going to empower you and expand you and then we're going to keep on learning how to harness our mature emotionally speaking and mentally speaking selves together okay so the fun part of physical mastery i'm an akashic record reader is this is me being able to share with you the embodiment of you one has all your child parts asleep two you get to keep doing emotions when you're in truly romantic relationships truly romantic means people who are walking with you talking with you and from the heart and the mind what happens when you meet people who are squirrels from Cusco land or Cusco's? They're part of our crew. Sids, Manny, Diego's. They're an opportunity for you to continue being Pacha or to learn to become Pacha. That depends on you. If you are here, then I'm going to say you're interested if you're going to come back. If you don't, that's okay. You're going to have other places to be and do. And here's what happens when you have people who don't hear the truth because they have a shame button because they're a person who has porous boundaries, so love dependent and shame will manipulate and de, the, what's the word? Um, they will manipulate and then they will twist something. I'm forgetting the word distort. It wasn't distort. Uh, Terry Real has a nice grid, okay? And then they move into grandiosity though. And you know, here's the thing, your body is an embodied brain. So again, it's natural in my, I'm a human, I'm going to protect me, which is why I get to be objective when I get emotional, because it's not a truth. The only people who don't recognize when I'm charged, when I'm getting into, this is an emotion, this is called me getting into a tainted picture in a minute. No, you're already tainted. So you pause when you're presented it so that you can say, wait, okay, let me calm and then share my actual conscious thought. Because when you are defensive, it's not conscious it's safety behavior talk adaptive child versus functional adult the self of a person you own your self-worth you be yourself being yourself is the authentic self so now i know how to answer why people would say i don't want to be me okay i won't tell you why but i know why i'm gonna you know, i'm not gonna say anything the minute a person tells me they don't want to be their self they're not interested in self-help that's why they find it bullshit and crap because they think that they they think sacred, uh, I did therapy, now I don't want to do self-help. That's basically it. So they have a Zen master who, again, tells them all about laundry in their body versus I want to do expansion of my emotions. I want to do emotional intelligence. You present it to them fancy enough, they're going to be like, I'm all over that one. <laughs> I'm presenting it. Let's build 5D relationships. Let's help those who are healing trauma to have healthy self-worth people. Let's use examples. So back to story. The minute that I... Let's say again, I am really, really interested in you. And I have a good I have a good example. I'm thinking about that one. But it's a completely different one. But here's where I'm really, really into you and I really, really, really want to date you. But I think that I won't be able to unless I give you this very specific thing that you want. And I think about it and think about it. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna say, you know what? For that person, I will do this thing. Okay, so that's one angle, right? Okay, so you recognize this is not something I want, but this is something I will do in an effort to keep them because I really, really like them. <laughs> that happened to me once. I was a 19-year-old, and I shared the story, and I laugh about it today, and I'm like, thank goodness 
that none of any of this, you know, because anytime I think the past, I'm like, I am so lucky. I get to love more. I'm a solo polyamory person with twin flames. I have so mates. They keep surprising me with a bunch of beautiful things and then meeting empowered men. So life gets more amazing as you enlighten and as you move into empowerment, women, men, and days, because we know what year it is and we're not lost in La La Land. Okay, the La La Land people, they're Elsa Journey people, which they stay low self-esteem, codependent, and in direct communication, and that's with themselves. Okay, so while I can say, okay, I'm saying that I want to do this because I'm really, really excited because I really, really like, but this means I will do something that I don't want, but it's not something that goes against my values. Okay, so no, it's something that uh, is not a want. I don't want, let's say, this piece of candy because I don't prefer that candy. I prefer the other candy. Okay, so I'm trying to give you that. If it's my value body, it's a no. Nope, get away from me. Value body is automatically off. Anyone who is empowered from a space of their inner child being in the forefront will say no. This is why you maintain a value body. It's not about right or wrong. It's a soft ventral vagal no, this is something that would take away from who I am, which means you're canceling me, which means you don't love me, which means no. So it's just a no, there's no wiggle room and you don't budge and you actively don't budge. And you actively also know, again, from experience, what is happening and you actively say, don't manipulate your words because I ain't falling for this shit. And you better bet that that's the part of why self-help is important for people because there are those who have secure attachment, but they are not out of a shame button of society. And so they don't master their emotions and their thoughts when they're being presented equations that are quite straightforward. I hear it all the time. You can guide and walk the mule to the well. This is the moment. I tell you the truth. You hear me. You come back. I got plenty of Cusco stories. My one friend that I didn't talk to for five years, he's a perfect example of a Cusco story. And I've shared that one. And so let me just finish up with this one and let me continue my day. Okay, so your value body is not ever put into the question equation. A serious human being who is empowered is going to know exactly where they stand with wanting to support all of life, which is why there will be no negotiation about something that is that important. And then there's also no need to explain. Here's where people like to present life to death scenarios. Whenever they present that, I say, I don't know how my body's going to react if I'm about to die. I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to save myself. So why are you asking me about this? I hope to not find myself in any kind of extreme fucking situation. You know, but basically my body's going to protect me. I'm not going to shame it because you want to put me in a corner, quote unquote, because you don't like people who love life and humanity. Just saying that. So that's for the misanthropists out there. They dislike, distrust, mistrust, all of it. They're always all over humans, humans, humans. It's like you're a human too. Do you not notice that you're judging yourself all the time? As stupid, by the way, let me just add that. Okay, so when you don't want to be yourself, to me, it's a contradiction. And today I know about shame and the good therapist who can help people to get out of it, and then they don't want to do self-help, and then they continue to, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, so here's where I just presented to you how an empowered woman will be able to stand down categorically. No, manipulation, no, 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 there you go. Shoo, shoo, bye-bye. This is healthy self-worth. This is secure attachment. It's not boring. It's empowering, to say the least. What you end up finding out with those who are not securely attached, who have the Zen master with laundry, and they continue doing the human suffering wheel, so their temporal junction, rumination, not taking a look and saying these emotions of insecurity led me and or lead me consistently to twist things in an effort to allow myself to believe in something to be true. Uh, it is not true, but look, let me go and do all people are pieces of shit. It's all disgusting. You're all horrible. This is you flipping a switch. You're not expanding. You're going from one end of a coin to another end without ever getting beyond that because you are criticizing yourself and then another and the emotion and you're continuing to manipulate and distort information versus C. I am a person who made a conscious choice. It didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Here's why generalized thinking keeps people stuck in their trust breaks in their small and big trauma, PTSD, 
This is where studies have shown the cognitive style generalization of thinking. It happened once, it'll happen all the time. One man, one woman, and that's why gender stereotypes and any type of generalization of anything, anytime I sit anywhere, it is bullshit and it is giving a uh, not educational instance. And at the same time, we have ways that we all will use words and phrases. And so again, it's a community that we build together through conversations. And that's why in relationships, particularly, you continue to chit chat as you're having it out because you're having a different idea about something. And in fact, with full blown emotions, open heart, nobody's getting defensive because healthy self-worth people are having a good time as they talk intellectually, emotionally, and mentally about anything and physically. Okay. So the ones who don't get out of the little wheel, they will basically just, um, yeah, they crap on themselves, they crap on others, and it's actually straightforward. But no matter how you can tell them this, again, Cusco, I'm a pot shy. I've told plenty of Cuscos, and then they come back around a year later, six months later, three days later. It all depends, but they repeat their same story which is why then, you know, they didn't hear the truth. They twisted it. They heard what they wanted to hear. And then they went home and continued with their left mode, zero, one year old, three year old in a shame cycle with an inner critic, outer critic, which is why shame, blame, revenge, resentment, uh, fault, blaming, pointing fingers. Those are all inner child with no adult in the room. So they're not reparented. They're not a person who's self-aware self-accountable, self-regulating. They, in fact, don't know how to regulate their dysregulated nervous system the minute that their one-year-old is upset because something happened in the world. So they're safe haven. They're not able to do that, and they're not able to be secure base. So they went out into the world. A rock fell on their foot. They're hurting, and they don't want to go out into the world anymore. There's another example. And so that being said, thank you for stopping by. The 5D relationships are with people who want to grow up emotionally and mentally. Self-help supports those people too. So does the woo-woo spiritual lady here. <laughs> and for my lovely sciences and spirituality community, so the ones of you who integrate, welcome aboard. I enjoy my lovely players and I plan on bringing more of this to you. I do it my own way, but also for one-to-one -one mentorship and guidance. If you are looking for anything integrated, there's a landing page on inspiringhumanpotential.com. Also, the blog is down right now, but I'm going to fix it up soon. And remember that the main modules of the Inner Growth Mindset Program, the online course, are on the main website. And there's three levels. And the beginners is on Udemy, the whole course material. But if you want to also just ask Maria, that's paid subscription-based model content on our audio episodes, which we have one going out at the very least on Fridays. I do have plans for Mondays, but not always. And uh, on that note, we don't. I don't know if tomorrow we're going to have a, a full-blown episode, but we have YouTube content streaming right now on there. So if you are a regular YouTube viewer, you're going to find uh, episodes are distributed throughout the entire month of July. And with that being said, thank you for stopping by again. Like, share, and subscribe. If you know anybody who is fond of doing emotions and thoughts the grown up way, they like 5D mystic stories, enlightenment soul age group stories, woo woo spiritual stories. <laughs> we have plenty of them. I have plenty of them. And on that note, yeah, human stories, lots. So empowered men and women and days. What is beautiful to share is that a polyamory can meet a monoamory and a monogamy. I have not met polygamy, or have I? I have met some polygamous groups. What I also found funny, though, my lovely collective, is that on a forum, there were a bunch of polyamories because we're between grace and uh, what was the other one? Grace, asexual. So grace is gray, asexual. And uh, if I remember that one, Correctly. I forget acronyms, but long story short, on this forum, I'm watching all of my <laughs> poly community criticize the polygamy, and I'm thinking, why are you doing that? We're not welcome. There's people who think we're masochists. There's people who think that we owe fuck anyone. There's people who think that it automatically means you don't love or you're traumatized. There's people who think we overestimate the usage of people's brains. <laughs> so, you know, I'm on a forum and I'm thinking, how are you doing this with? a group that is a part of the polyamory crew. And then I remembered not all people own their emotional and mental plane. Okay. So when you own your emotional and mental plane means you're an inner child adult, as I like to share, 
That's why we can be woo-woo, because the ones who are not inner child adults, they only use their left. They don't put their right. So they do the left foot in, but the right that's long gone. Their inner child never sees the light of day. Yeah, that's really unfortunate because it's really fun to have the inner child adults come out and play. So we'll be back with more again. Thank you for stopping by.